Hi there Jeep owners, today in your 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Rampage's rear spare tire cover. So this is what our cover looks like. We're going to be installing it here in just a minute, showing you how to do that. But before we do, uh, there's a couple of few things we wanted to talk about. One, the manufacturer says that this is going to fit tires between 30 and 32 inches in diameter. But we're going to let it on the ground and give you some actual measurements. So that way you can verify at home. Because when you're looking at your tire size, you know, whether it's uh, like this one here is a uh, 245 75 17 that doesn't really tell you a diameter you got to do a little math and look it up to figure it out so this way you can just measure your tire to see if it'll fit so we're going to go ahead and just lay it out here and we're going to be measuring it on the outer hem from edge to edge just so we can get a good idea of its design size so if we go from one edge of the hem over here to the other Looking like the longest distance is right at about 31 and a half inches as far as hem to hem. Now it is gonna be able to bulge beyond the hem just a little bit, so that's probably why they get their 32 on the manufacturer's measurement. We do have another measurement though we wanna give you because another important thing is the tire width. We need to make sure that this will be able to go over the tire so we can grip on it on the other side. So we're gonna measure this as well from the hem to the other side. I'm gonna stretch it a little bit and looking like about 12 and a half inches is as far as we're gonna get from edge to edge. So now that we've got our measurements out of the way, we can go ahead and start putting it on. Before you put it on though, it is recommended to go ahead and clean your tire off, make sure there's no dirt and debris on there. This cover is gonna do a great job protecting it from moisture and especially UV rays dry routing it. But if you've got a bunch of mud and stuff caked up on here, that could leave some spots and discoloration over time if you just throw this cover on there and leave that in place. So once we get it cleaned up, we'll, we'll throw this on there. All right, we're all cleaned up. We're gonna take our cover now, put the opening here at the bottom, and then just drape it right over the top. This cover installs really easily. Um, we were just installing some from Classic Accessories and they have an elastic fastener here on the inside through the hem and on that one I originally I thought it was really nice because it was elastic I thought it was going to hold it tight this one installs so much easier that it's not elastic it's you're not fighting the elastic the whole time so we're just going to we got that draped around I'm going to go ahead and open the door uh, that way we can more easily get to the bottom here make sure that that's draped around then we can grab our small tassel here and push it in place drawing our strings up to hold it tight around our tire there we go now you might have some excess here you can take the excess and i'm just going to do one little loop in it there just to help <laughs> ball it up and we're actually just going to put it inside of our tire cover there to secure that to keep it from dragging down on the pavement and now we've got our fit and it is a nice fit it's not going to be able to come off of there pretty secure on there and compared to the classic accessories one this one fits just a little bit looser but it's definitely not going to come off of there and I actually kind of prefer the looser fit at first I was thinking that the uh, tighter fit was going to be better for the cover but with the thicker material we've got on this one and the slightly looser fit I feel like this one's going to last longer on the previous one we did a little test where we noticed that it was kind of bulging in this area where the center mechanism is here and you can see here as you compare the two as you're driving down the road and the wind's kind of moving this there's not a lot of pressure against the cover and the piece here on the other classic accessories one there was quite a bit of pressure you could see a bulge and it's likely going to wear through the cover on that one whereas this looser fit on this one with the thicker material i think is going to last a long time without there ever even being hardly a, a noticeable mark in this area so here we can see the one from Rampage installed. It has a nice textured, thick vinyl on it. It feels very durable. This is a competitor's here, classic accessories that we do sell here at eTrailer. And this is gonna be your more economical one. The fabric is gonna be thinner. You can see when I'm just pushing my fingers on it, it really has uh, kind of molds around your fingers. It doesn't feel very strong, almost like I could, if I really forced it, I could potentially rip this material. This feels much sturdier. I can push really hard and you hardly even get like a design of my finger in there from pushing on it. The textured material here to me looks a little bit nicer as well than the smooth finish. It even feels like this material here gets a lot hotter more fast out in the sun than this material here. Uh, and I think that's probably just because of the shine on it's a little bit better or a little bit brighter. 
As far as the interior of both of our covers, they're both going to have this fabric on the inside. This is going to help to prevent mildew or moisture from building up. The, they both are going to be water resistant. The main thing that I see the difference between these two though is that this one feels like it's a much more durable product and it's probably going to last a whole lot longer than this one. Uh, this would be again just your economical one. I would say this would probably be something that would be better for something you don't drive very often because I do think this is going to wear out. This is going to be for the people that use their Jeep all the time, heading out in trails, tree branches and stuff that brush by it are going to be a lot more durable on this one than they would with the other one as well. So when it comes down to it, this is the one that I would recommend for your, your Jeep owners out there. And that completes our installation of Rampage's rear spare tire cover on our 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.